I really want some juice. How much juice? As much as this cup can hold. Whoa, how are we ever going to figure that out? The power of calculus. The inside of the cup is just like an equation located around the x-axis. The inside curve of the cup is around x to the 1 fourth plus square root of x plus 0 0.3. If we turn the cup on its side, it's just like we are rotating the equation around the x-axis. The cup is about 3 inches tall. So we have the equation and a rotation. This means we just have to find the integral of the equation, with the equation being x to the 1 fourth plus square root of x plus 0.3. From 0 to 3, since it's about 3 inches, yeah. Yeah. So remember, this was our equation. And you see, it looks like this, just like how this glass has this kind of curve, too. So we're looking for the, you know, so this is like flat, right? So we're looking for it rotated around like this. So it turns out like this. Yeah, you see, like that? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we need paper and a pen. Okay. So I will first sketch out this equation. It looks like this. Okay, and yeah, like that. So, and th then we rotate it around the x-axis. <laughs> it looks like this. Um, and then, so you know, you want to make it 3D like this, right? Mm. And this is the radius of the circle when you rotate it around. So just think about it like this, like this is like the cup. Like that. And so we need to find this radius length, like these radius lengths, or anywhere, like this radius length, this radius length. So we know the area of a circle, which is this thing, is <clears throat> pi r, which is radius, squared. So it's to the second power. <laughs> and then radius is goes from here to here, here to here, here to here, etc. And we know from here to here it's y, like it's the y equation. So it's this equation you see here yes indeed so we do area equals pi this point which is this is a four okay um to the second power and that's it basically and we're looking for from zero to three so we make an integral the area this is volume this is just the area yeah So you see that? Yeah, so remember this is 3 inches, so from 0 to 3 inches, 0 right here to 3 inches. And so let's plug in our calculator and see what we get. Here, take a look. So click on the math symbol right there, and then you go, this is math, you go down to integral, since we're taking an integral from 0 to 3. And the equation is x to the Oh no, oopsie, sorry about that. We need pi x to the 1 fourth plus square root of x plus 0.3 squared equals, er, dx. Oops, must add dx at the end because this is area. And dx is technically the thickness of the cup. And we press enter. And what do you know? This is going to be our volume of the water that we can put inside the cup. Oh, 62.9. Yeah. And since we measured in inches before, this is how much, this is the volume of the drink we can put inside the cup, this cup. I wonder how much juice can fit into this cup. I think, I think we can calculate the volume of the cup while it's standing up. Oh, we can? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we're going to solve it around the x-axis. We have our equation, y equals 4x squared, and we have our area, form area formula, which is pi r squared. And you have to solve for x, because it's rotating around the x-axis. And um, you divide 4 on both sides, and the square root. So x equals square root of y over 4. And you put that in, into um, radius in the area function, and you get pi times y over 4 squared. And volume is just um, the integral from 0 to 5, because it's on the x-axis and the height is 5. So it would be pi um, integral 0 to 5 root y over 4 squared dy. 
and putting that in the calculator, you get 9.817 inches cubed. No more juice. Oh well, I guess I can just eat this cup. I wonder how much volume there is. Okay, so we're trying to find the volume between two curves, or like how much glass is in the glass. So this is like a graph, this is inner and outer equations, and then our outer equation is y equals 3x to the 1 half, and our inner equation is y equals 1.5x to the 3 fourths. So area equals pi r squared, because the first thing we have to do is we have to find the area of the disk, and it's outer disk minus inner disk. So area equals pi times 3x to the 1 half squared minus 1.5x to the 3 fourths squared. So area equals pi times 9x to the 1 fourth minus 2.25x to the power of 0.5625. So for volume, we just take the integral. So volume equals integral from 0 to 5, or pi integral from 0 to 5. 9x to the 1 fourth minus 2.25x to the 0.5625 dx. And then the volume is just equal to evaluate from 0 to 3, pot pi, um, 9 over 1.25x to the 5 fourths minus 2.25 over 1.5625x to the 1.5625, and this is a 5 out of 3. And then if we plug uh, if we plug that into our calculator, we get 113.188 inches cubed, and that's just the area between. That this is the volume of, um, of how much glass is, is like made up in the glass. Thanks for watching. Shells.